Hello, uh, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, this is Mr. Santos Capellan Jr. Wishing always a good day to my viewers and subscribers and to all the people. Okay. Now, uh, guys, what I'm going to do today is to respond to one of my subscribers' request. He was asking uh, me to create a step-by-step -step BMS graphics using this software that I'm using. Okay. Now today, what I'm going to do is to start a uh, new graphics for uh, water tank level management system. Okay, so let me walk you through how I'm going to do it. Okay, now what I have here is my uh, BMS workstation. Okay, so this BMS workstation is live, meaning it is connected to my automation server and my IO modules, okay? So meaning my laptop is communicating with my uh, uh, controller level devices, okay? So what I have here is my automation server, then my automation server, there are several IO modules, okay? Now, so this is my automation server. Now, what are the IO modules connected? These are the IO modules connected, okay? No need to explain it for you. I, I, if you are following this tutorial, you already know what are these IO modules, okay? So uh, first, what I need to do, I will create, uh, I will create a folder, okay? So right click, then new object, which is folder, okay? So folder, it will create a folder. So create object folder. Okay, by the way, this uh, system is object oriented. Okay, so folder name, naming the object. So what is the name for this since this is for my water tank level management system. So I will say water tank level management. Okay, by the name of the folder. So we understand that or we understood that this is for water tank level management system, okay? Now description, uh, you can always, this is optional, you can always put a description or you can leave it blank, okay? So once you name the object or the folder, then create, just click this create, okay? Then the server or our system will create it for you. Now, voila, now this is the newly created folder. Now, why, why do I need to create folder? Now, we create folder for file management, okay? So that all the files that you are going to create for this uh, water level management system will be in one folder, okay? Because if you have several files, it sometimes it's really hard to remember where I put that file, where I put that file, okay? So for to implement this file management system, so we are creating folder. Now here, I will right click in my folder, then I will create a new object. Now this time I will create the graphic object, okay? Now what will be the name of this graphic object? Okay, so I will name it water tank level uh, management. Okay. So water tank level management, once again, okay, the, Path will be created automatically by the system, then description on it. Then next, okay, then the file format is TGML, okay? So graphic file, TGML, then we can say create. Okay, now we can collapse this, then here, we have here our water tank level management system. Now this file is empty, okay? So we need at least to create or put some objects in this empty graphic uh, file. Okay, so uh, as my subscribers request, he told me I have to create a small, small video so that he can follow, okay? So maybe the, the first part of this video is this one, okay? So how are you going to create this graphic file or graphic object for water tank level management system in your BMS workstation. Now, by the way, this BMS workstation is the one that is monitoring all the activities in your controller level. When I say controller level, these are the controller in the field 
where it is controlling and monitoring all the equipments that is being handled by all this controller okay now in one project bms project there could be several controllers and there could be several mechanical and electrical equipment that needs to be controlled and monitored under building management system or building automation okay so what i have done here in this tutorial is to create the graphic file for my water tank level management system i'm doing this to help the beginner in building automation or bms so that they will be able to understand how they are going to create BMS graphics, wherein these graphics will be the one to pull or get information from the field and display it in the workstation so that the BMS operator or the engineers that is uh, following or maintaining the system will be able to see what is happening in a specific equipment. Okay, so guys, it is a very short uh, tutorial. The objective of this is to guide you step by step so that uh, those who are wishing to join building management system will be able to cope up or will be able to understand how they're going to prepare a BMS project using the online BMS workstation. So once again, thank you for tuning in to this um, short video clip and I do hope you will always support this channel and uh, as usual, Santos Capellan Jr. is always saying God bless us all. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And you can always click the notification bell so that you will be notified if new upload is available in my channel. Again, uh, God bless us all. And bye for now.